Hi guys, so because I made this kind of video in the past, I kind of know what to expect in the comment section. And I know that some of you are against the treasure hunter, and I understand that. It's just my general curiosity of what I'm gonna get from all these treasure chests, so I just decided to buy all the keys. And also it was 50% uh, increased keys just for free so that's why I bought this and also we had the protein promotion at the same time as well so it was like a good time to buy it and no I don't recommend spending mu that much money on a game I think there are better ways to spend your money in real life so yeah and no I'm not sponsored by Jagex or something I paid my own money for this and yeah so now now that we got that out of the way I am gonna tell you that I got one lucky item only one and that was a lucky subjugation hood, which is like the worst out of all. It, I could have converted it to 2.5 million, but I just kept it. Because I want to keep as many lucky items as I can. I think at this time I have six of them. And I did have a lucky subjugation hood from before. Now I don't want to get too technical about the stuff, about the numbers and experience. So I'm going to keep everything right now on the screen. And if you want, you can pause this. Uh, just keep in mind that I got this much experience because I am maxed, so I have all 99s and 120 engineering, so which means I am going to get the maximum amount of experience that you can from stars and lamps. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about the protein stuff. We had this for quite a while, uh, two of those, but we did not have the protein trap. This is a, a new stuff. So the protein plank is kind of the shittiest one. I got uh, 5,000 of those, and it basically acts as a best plank based on your construction level. So it's mahogany for most people. So I have 5,000 mahogany planks that are untradeable, but they do stack in the inventory, so that makes them actually very good because you don't need to make your servant go to the bank every like 24 planks, uh, you know, less clicking and okay, so that's, but it's only going to give me 700,000 construction XP. So compared to other protein items, it is the worst. And then we have the protein bars and you cannot make anything out of those bars. They are just for the experience and they give quite a lot of experience at my level. I'm not sure if it's based on the best bars that you can make or on your actual smithing level. But I get 450 experience for one bar, so that's gonna give me close to 2.5 mil XP, or is it like 2.3 mil? I don't even know. So it's 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 good. It is good, and also you can AFK for five minutes before you have to move your mouse again. So you're probably going to log off before you finish smithing all of these protein bars, and it's stackable again. So quite good you can just stay in one place and just smith these and then we have the protein trap which acts as a three kinds of traps so anything that you can lay on the floor let's say the chinchompa box i'm not sure how how it's called you, you know if you lay it on the floor you can act, use this to catch the things and it's more for the people who don't care about what they catch so if you don't care about money and all you care is about experience these are for you because as you can see once they catch something you don't get it they just fly in the sky and they are never to be seen again but as a compensation you do get 25 percent more experience and if you don't catch anything if your trap fails you still get 50 percent of the experience also you don't need to smoke or bait your traps they are already fine and i think they have 10 percent increased chance of catching the prey but i'm not sure if that's because they are smoked already and they have the bait in them or they also have like 10 percent additional chance to catch them i'm not sure but i have a lot of them as you can see in my inventory these are going to be good for like seven maybe eight mil experience I have no idea how how many times I'm gonna fail, you know, catching the prey. And of course, in the video, I am catching chinchompas just as a demonstration. I would catch something else if I would actually want to use these traps, which I will not because I am not the guy who goes for 200 mil XP. So yeah, I guess these will not be used ever. So they're gonna just stay in my bank. Oh well. And I think we should finish this video off by doing a price check of all the items that I got. But as most of you know, Treasure Hunter is not that good to get money. It just is not. You get all of the experience. Yeah, pretty much it's about experience. Wow, that's actually... Oh wow, that's 11 million from these. 
Okay, I thought it was gonna be like three mil, which is pretty much three mil if we don't count these. Um, yeah, it's quite bad. And this is monthly, weekly, and daily. Some nature tabs, some magic saplings. I do have some, oh, these are the dummies. I didn't get too many, I think I got five magic, six melee, and two ranger something. Yeah, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And just like I said, there are better places where you can use your real life money on and not on the treasure hunter keys. So just keep that in mind before you buy any keys. Okay, so bye.